You're such an asshole. I'd like to say caffeinated cappy. Which I wouldn't be lying. I do have caffeine in me. It just hasn't kicked in. I'm I'm still beat. <laughs> I didn't do anything yesterday either. I went for a walk. I walked around the mall. All right. <clears throat> we have a question. If you have questions, go to assholeconsulting.com, where I, the world's only professional asshole in America's only older brother, will tell you the solutions to your problems because we speak truth here, <clears throat> and we're not going to hurt your feelings. Speaking of not hurting feelings, let's talk about mothers. Hey, Aaron, I'm 23 years old, have a stable, good job, and I'm pretty good looking. You can take my word for it. However, I'm the stereotypical nice guy. Oh, Look, I can't fault you at 23 years old for being the nice guy. Are they, the, the, you Maybe it's not a secret, but it's something maybe men don't talk about. A lot. Gals, we don't like treating you like shit, just so you know. I don't. When I when I finally figured it out, I'm like, wouldn't it just be easier if I could ask you out and say I like you when we go on a date? I mean, could we just do that? No, we got to play these games. And you got to play aloof. You got to be a dick. And you got to nag. And you got to not tell. And, and just like don't call her in three. I mean, all these dumbass rules. Because, well, I understand nature. Why naturally, uh, biologically, you can't just throw yourself at women. <clears throat> the idea of scarcity. But it wouldn't be so much easier for the rest of us to quote Commander Jensen from the Guns of Navarone, which none of you have seen. Uh, guys, want to be good. It's easier to be good. It's tiring and taxing to be the dick. It just is. But it doesn't work. So I understand. It, you, well, logically, you should want to be the nice guy. but And you want it. Now, logically, it doesn't make sense to be the nice guy, <clears throat> at least on the fa uh, face of it. But you want to be the nice guy. You want to be a dick. Most people don't want to be dicks. But we won't suck your dick unless you're a dick. All right, fine. Oh, uh, sorry, babe. I got to go. And I even pick up the, f I got to, oh, yeah, well, if, if, you know, if you like wearing your grandma's pants, you know, whatever these stupid games we now got to play. Um, so I can't pick on you too much for being a nice guy. I don't like to drink or party, and there's nothing particularly edgy about my personality. So as you can imagine, my luck with girls in my age group. No, no, there's no luck. You know what you have to do. There's That's not luck. You just chose not to be a dick yet, and I understand. And developing that edgy kind of Timothy Oliphant uh, indifferent Clive Owen type of reserved cool guy <clears throat> attitude is hard has been quite poor. These are issues I'm actively working to fix. That's not really why I'm writing you. It's just for context. That's all right. Charge you more for it. I'm writing to you because everywhere I go, women of all ages, including my own mother, often tell me the same thing. All girls want is a nice, sensitive guy who will listen to them and treat them right. That's a, that's a lie. It is a lie. I'm not being edgy. I'm not being cute. I'm not doing it for entertaining. I'm not doing it to be controversial. It's a freaking lie. Can you guys adapt and move on? We already know this is not the case. That is nothing new. But the question is, why won't they just be honest about what they want? Ah, we learn through science. No, you said a polar bear. I said an Alaskan polar bear. Uh, <clears throat> this advice about just being the nice guy has obviously gotten me and many other guys nowhere. And yet this is usually for what I hear from. Not all, but most women. Older women I know will tell me things like, you're so nice. I would have gone out with you if I was younger. That's a lie, too. Even though I, they may have gone out with you, but they wouldn't have fucked you. Not to say that you'd be sleeping with your mom's old friend. I'm saying back in the day if they were 20 and you were 23. <clears throat> uh, I have no idea why my mother keeps tells me, even though I know the men they married certainly were not the nice type guys. I have no idea why my mom keeps tells me this concern. She didn't marry the nice guy who was sensitive and always treated her to right. Of course not. Of course not. I'll get to it. Don't worry. I just I just find it so, this is, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I've been working at NASA, the red pill NASA. Like, what will we have the answer? But I forget, not everybody, well, these technologies and these observations and these formulae have not been ushered out into public yet, into the public domain. And it's like, well, the answer is, is 42. It's obvious. But per uh, Modern Life Dating and all the guys that subscribe to him, I'm like, okay, I guess we really got to get this out here. 
<clears throat> and the very girls who reject me will also tell me that they want a good guy in their life, but that they there just aren't any out there. You, you, you just don't listen to. I'm I'm being deadly serious. You just don't listen to what women say. Okay, spare yourself not just the headache and the confusion, but your precious finite time. Just like they go, well, I like if you're in one of these like 20 something parties or college, like, well, what are girls like? No, no, you should not be such a putz as to ask that. Don't even waste your 15 minutes or an hour of time in college having those like freshman dorm conversations. Like, you need to see the world, man. We just need more of the rich white man's money, man. Well, dude, we solve poverty. Oh, why can't the world see it? Why don't girls like. Uh, you get up, you go to the gym. You get up, you go, I don't know, go work some more. Go study some more. Take an extra class. Get out of that environment. <clears throat> I have no idea. Da, 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 girls, da, da, da. But that there just aren't any out there. They'll complain to me about what an asshole their exes were. Then tell me that I'm very handsome, but just not their type and friend zone me. Next thing I know, they're together with some other stoner who's abusive to them. Usually they'll get into some argument with him. Then they'll come crying back to me. And yet they won't, still won't go out. Why, why are you letting them back? Step two, dickhead. When the girl, my boyfriend, Bob, too bad. Bye. Bye. Stop being a fucking tampon, you fucking idiot. I mean, at least have that sin, that simple decency and self-respect. Ain't you around for a talk? No. <laughs> no. And you see, you're already friend zones. You can't, you can't do that. Well, if you suck my dick, yes. But otherwise, no, you can't do that because you're friend zone. You're like cancer, man. Are you done? For God's sake, stop being, don't voluntarily say, oh, okay, I'll listen to your problems. <clears throat> uh, this is also on me not having the balls to tell them I'm not interested in being their emotional tampon. Well, you think they can sense you being a pussy, huh? I don't understand why it's so hard for them to just admit they're not into nice guys. If you could share your thoughts on this video response, it'd be much appreciated. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain until I took some notes. And there's like, I don't know, five, six reasons I've come up with here. Some are sexy, some are not. Some are very obvious. I mean, there's just all right. So let's go through them here. Oh, where to go? Okay. As it especially pertains to your mom, but girls in general, they they don't want to hurt your feelings. Okay. They don't want to tell you that you're a pussy. That well, your mom also doesn't want her little boy fucking. Okay, let's that's another. Let's add that another one to your mom. To have, your mom wants to view you as the little two year old toddler who ran around and gave her hugs. That's what she wants to forever. And for fuck's sake, every mom is like that. Forty five fucking years old, mom. Oh, do you want? It's like mom, and I love my mom. But honest to God, all I want to tell her some days, mom, shut the fuck up. I know how to wipe my own ass. I don't need any fucking food. I have a very strict diet. You know that cholesterol thing you want me to live? Stop sending me home with bad food. I'm just going to let's not even have the conversation. I might as well be yelling at, 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 at this paper clip. Okay? Mom is, mom's going to mom. And nothing could... You are that little two-year-old boy that she loved and coddled, even though you have a gray peppered beard and of supported yourself since forever time. So they don't want to hurt your feelings and they want to pay and they want to protect. That's the motherly instinct. They just want, they want to protect. And, and that's what they're supposed to do when you're a fucking four year old. When you're a 40 year old, it's obsolete, but they don't have any other programming except to coddle and protect. Not just from real world threats, but emotional, psychological threats, baby crying. Oh, what do you need? What do you need? Constantly pandering. And if your dad did it right, he comes in at about eight or nine, beats the shit out of you, says, hey, you know that nice shit your mom did? Well, guess what? That ain't the real world. Now you're graduating to a new school. It's called dad. <clears throat> oh, but dad isn't around. And if dad is around, he's a suburbanite little spineless pussy. Right? I'm going to guess that's where your dad is because your dad obviously wasn't around. <clears throat> he could have physically been there, but not that. Okay, so that's one. Your mom doesn't want to hurt your feelings. All right. Another thing with your mom or girls. 
this is just logical. It has nothing to do with sexual psychology or evolutionary psychology. Uh, they don't date women. You, the, the number one reason you don't take any advice about women from women is because they've never dated women. Now, they are women. Like, if you had a question like, well, what do women like to read? What do women like to watch? And they'll tell you, and it will be true. But in terms of interaction and, and uh, uh, intersexual dynamics, intersexual relations, you want to talk to a guy who's gotten laid a ton of times, who gets the girls, because he has experience in betting girls. He has experience in getting them on dates. Your mom and most of your female friends, unless they're lesbian, have zero experience in that capacity. And so they, they don't know. You say, well, what do women want? Well, what do I want? I want flowers. And it says it. And I want them to take care of me. And I want them to be strong. And I want them to take care of me. They've never approached a woman. They don't know. So you never you never listen to women about how to, all right? So that's that's the other reason. Your mom just doesn't know. Your goals are different than what your mom's goals are. Remember, your mom's goal, cute little two-year-old boy until you're dead. And 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 that's the capacity. You're the little boy, little innocent boy. That's all you'll ever be to mom. <clears throat> Mom doesn't know how to like, well, yeah, you go up to this girl. I, I nailed this one girl this one time. Man, I had to run some serious game and be really charming. I was on fire. I was just the right amount of drunk, but not too drunk. So they, that's another reason. All right. Another thing, and this is for most modern day moms, moms and I mean modern day, I mean boomer and, and uh, post boomer. So boomer, Gen X parents, and millennial parents are starting to get there now. Uh, and this applies to fathers as well, but we're going to focus on women. Most parents don't love you more than themselves. You, you got to understand this, all right? They love themselves more than anything else. And so what they, they, they love, they'll take, they'll do what they have to do. Yeah, I love my child. But if it comes to choosing <clears throat> between inconveniencing themselves and suffering discomfort or telling you the truth, and they don't care if your feelings are hurt. It's more like, well, if I hurt my son's feeling, I'm going to feel bad. So they lie to you. I, right here. Hang on. Where's this riff from? Oh, not to become a millennial. I was attending a charity event and found myself talking with a boomer couple and their 20-something daughter. The topic of conversation was about their other daughter who could not attend as she lived out of state. Though she was pushing 30, she was still having trouble finding herself and still relied on the financial support of her parents. But I could tell by the rolling eyes of the younger daughter that it was her parents' handouts that was the problem, not the solution, as it was simply enabling her older sister to continue her parasitic lifestyle. They knew I was an economist, and so they asked for my advice. And I said, cut her off cold turkey totally now. But the mother said something very interesting. Oh, no, I just couldn't do that. She's my baby. And so I left it at that as I knew there was nothing I could do. But that statement really needs to be dissected because it's everything wrong with boomer parenting and parenting today. Hang on. Because while on the face of it, it seemed the mother just wanted what was best for her child. In reality, she was lazy and coward. She was a lazy and cowardly mother who clearly loved herself more than her own child. The real reason the mother and father continued to financially support their adult child daughter is not because they loved her. It's because of fear, fear of the toil and suffering that comes with being a real parent. And not only were they too lazy to parent, but they were cowards on top of it, afraid of the confrontational conversation they would have to have with their daughter to set her on the path to adulthood. This is why they forked over the monthly stipend to their daughter, because it spared them the discomfort and pain of having an uncomfortable conversation. And so, if you think about it clearly, they literally feared the discomfort of having that necessary conversation more than they love their own daughter, because if they really love their own daughter more than themselves, they would gladly suffer that minor pain to ensure her future would be better in the long run. And that is 90% of parents, mothers and fathers today. And it kind of, I don't know if you saw the, the show Psych. I really like the show. I thought I'm like, what idiocy is it? What, what stupid tomfoolery is this? And I'm, I'm really liking it. But the dad, uh, the main character's dad, is like the most awesome dad. And that's a real dad. And that's real love. Uh, if you don't know the show, 
the, the guy's the guy's name is Sean, and his dad is is just dad. And the guy who plays the old grizzled cop, and it always starts in the eighties, and he's always giving his son a hard lesson. And that's more real love because Sean's dad loves Sean enough to tell him the fucking truth. And that's all. He's just this grizzled, pissed off cop who tells his son the truth all the time. Son, this is how it's going to be. And he, he disciplines his son. And he makes his son work and he, he catches his son in a lie. And he, he makes him, <clears throat> I don't know, fill the hole in the back of the yard that him and Gus dug up because they're playing cowboys and Indians. Uh, that's real love. A father or a mother who sits you down and tells you the truth. If if you're lucky, you'll get a dad to do that. Your dad will come in and beat your ass and tell you the truth. And he'll tell you why he's telling you the truth. But most of you are not that lucky. I'm going to say it again. 90, probably more like 95% of you don't even have one type of parent like that willing to tell you the truth. You have two people that fucked. They didn't abort you. Your mom probably dropped you off in daycare because her career was more important. And all this, and they don't take, like, did you guys ever have sit down time with your dad, your mom? Okay, look, we got to do some strategy. We got, did you ever have that experience like Sean's dad? No. Why? Because they love themselves more than they love you. They love you, but not at the expense of themselves. And so dad's going to go do his career and he's going to go drink and he's going to go hang out with his buddies at whatever the Masons or the Royal Order or the Water Buffalo or do whatever. Your mom's going to drop you off at daycare. Can't wait to kick you off to school. And if there ever comes a time to discipline, hello, millennial generation, participation trophies, timeouts, no spanking. P parents who don't spank their children don't love them. They're just cowards. You don't want to hurt your kid because it does hurt you more than it hurts them. But that's the tough part of parenting. And I've seen it, man. I see the new generation coming up without spanking, with and just timeouts. And really, oh, holy shit. You, th you think you're going to make fun of millennials living at home till the age of 30? Wait till Gen Zers live at home till the age of 40, or whatever the next generation is. All right? Your mom is a coward. Your mom is also lazy. And she, deep down inside, she knows. She knows what women want. Dude, you want to see it? You want to see women and you want to see all the makeup removed? Go down to the Excalibur Hotel in Vegas. Watch the line line up after Matt Baldoni performing at the Bee Gees. Watch the line line up, which the show afterwards is uh, Thunder from Down Under. And you'll see women with all the pretense removed. They, they, they know exactly what they want. They know exactly what's going on. It's your mom doesn't have the time, the inkling, the incentive, or the care to sit you down and say, son, this is... And I think that's more of a, and to forgive moms a little bit, that's more of a conversation your dad should have. Okay. I don't, now we don't need no man of single mom brigade coming out by we can raise our sons. Okay. Well, you better start telling them that truth too, which they don't. You can see it. Boys raised by single moms. I always come here. I got the head to head to the social anxiety. Ah. Uh, is your dad around? No, my mom left. Oh, wow. I wonder what the problem is, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a chemical imbalance. Yeah, it's not your dad wasn't fucking around. No, it's the it's the ahid to hid to his. The ahid to hid to his fairy came in and playing every every bastard child out there just gets a mental disorder. Oh, they're testing new fire alarms. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, your, your, your mom just doesn't, and it's your dads are just as guilty. No one wants to sit down and program you. That's essentially what they're doing is the programming you. Like, okay, we better give them a work ethic. Let's teach them why. Let's teach them financing and budgeting. Any of your parents teach you financing and budgeting? Any of your parents have a good conversation about majoring in the right thing? Or did they all just fucking mail it in like the lazy, worthless boomer and post-boomer fucks they all were? <laughs> Sorry, mommy got to go watch Orange is the New Blue. The game of the pointy chair is on. Hey, did you know that Walter Black or what's Walter? Somebody go call Saul was the pre uh, breaking bad is on. I mean, really, that's mo you. God, man, if you guys got Sean's dad from psych, you're richer than than Bill Gates. All right. But most of you did. not Why? Because your parents, they love you. But not more than than oranges and new black or somebody go call Saul or the game of the pointy chair throne. That's that's more important than sitting down and training you in. 
So they just didn't want to raise you. And they don't want to have uncomfortable conversations because that discomfort lessens their, their – they just want to magically have you raised by the state and daycare and nannies and the teachers. And they'll just be fine. I mean, think about how lazy the advice is. Just be yourself and, and you know, they just want a sweet, nice guy. I mean, really, you could take a broken record and replace most mother's advice on dating. It's the same repeat bullshit record. And it has no bearing in the real world. It has no efficacy and has never been derived from their personal experiences. It's just bullshit. It's it, translated into English. It's, I don't want to have this uncomfortable conversation. I want to pain myself now for your benefit. My comfort's more important than your, your frustrations, the pain you're going to go through. And so I'm going to give you this bullshit. Why? That makes me feel good. It makes you feel good. And then we'll just kick the can down the road. And then <clears throat> I know this is a part of your question, but my favorite is then when the girl is like, oh, the guy, you know, he's 28 living at home or still living off the parents. And they, and like the mom says, my child got accepted to go fuck yourself. You it's the most low grade. Anybody could get in. She's in there graphic design program it's very prestigious like it's milwaukee county college of fuckery what are you talking about then they graduated oh my god my baby all oh, them fuck the kids fucked the kid is fucked but the parents like oh look my child it's my oh my god i'm living vicariously through my child that's it that's all it is and then six years after they graduate well, she's trying to find herself. You know. <laughs> you They don't love you as much as they love themselves. Repeat after me. <clears throat> they don't love me as much as they love themselves. Soon you get that through your heads, kids. The sooner you're going to realize not necessarily who's your friend, but who you can trust and who you can rely on. And there's only one person, you. Maybe I should do a dark Mr. Rogers. Hey, kids, you know your parents don't love you? You know who you can rely on? You. Let's sing a song. Me and me and I and me, just doing what we want to be. Yep, -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -do -do. <clears throat> Goodbye, kids. Um, and hold off on the super chats. I just want to get through it. Uh, where my notes go? Okay. <clears throat> now, then we have team woman and this is now we get into the deep psychological thing and what you have to realize is that in order to survive with men it was strength and speed in the olden days and this is the vast majority of your program all right women aren't even conscious of this like chad elkin's mom you know chad's like they're all fat but chad it's so hard for women to stay thin it's like do you love your fucking son or the way Mrs. Elkins is not evil. She's not vile. She loves her son. There's no doubt about it. This is all unconscious. This is the 200,000 years of human evolution programmed into the female's brain. And male's brain, too. They're not, they're not, they, this is just, this is, it doesn't even go above the brain stem. This is just an automatic, follow your heart, the money will fall. Follow the heart, money will fall. And so to survive, women had to get along. And this is hardwired in the system, man. Super hardwired. Men, it's I got to throw the ball. I got to run fast. I got to beat up Jimmy. I got to defend myself against Bobby. I got I gotta, this compunction to lift heavy things and impress girls. What you, it's, you don't know why. It's just 200,000 years human, 2 million years of Crow Magnon. Uh, general human evolution, just screaming at you to do these things. For women to survive, they had to get along. They had to get. To, they weren't as strong. They weren't as fast. A lot of time, they're they're pregnant. You know, that's a that's a physical impairment to them, especially if they're birthing and 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 uh, <clears throat> feed uh, breastfeeding the children. Okay, they were down. All right, they could contribute and certainly do some other things, but they're not running around protecting the village from saber tooth tigers or other warring tribes or hunting down the mammoth, right? They're not, they're not doing that. They're taking care of the kids. They're all there and they had to get along. And what ended up happening hardwired into them is this 
double speak, fork tongue, backstabby, never get to the front. You say, why can't they just tell us what, what they want? They can't. They can't be that blunt because in the past, if they were that blunt, they would have hurt Tina. If, if it was a cave woman called Tina, would have hurt her feel. And then she would have asked her, have you not seen how backstabby they are? Do you not see the gossip crap? I mean, you want to see this in physical display. Go to the grocery store and look at the magazine rack. All gossip. All worthless fucking shit. Who buys that? Not men. Thank God. I'll admit there's equality between the sexes when that fucking rack goes away and I see women picking up popular mechanics or the economist or uh, chemical engineers weekly at the same rates that men do. And they get rid of that fucking poison, that fucking filth. But that's what that is. That's 200,000 years. Oh my God, I can't believe Tina. Hey, oh my God. Hey, these are, these are celebrity chicks. These people don't even know. Oh my God. Could you believe Tom Brady's wife? Can't believe this. Not, not a single frontal cortex brain cell goes into it. Like, oh, gossip. Oh my God. And they said, does that doesn't even happen in the, just automatically setting like a survivor or the escape Island or any of these backstabby shows that's in their DNA. And when men try to communicate with women, there's only one way you can communicate with another human through language. And have you noticed women almost have a double meaning? Like there's a whole other separate meaning. When I say, I forget your name. Let's say your name is, is Frank. Frank, you're a fat fuck and you need to lose weight. I don't, you, you will hear that and you will say, wow, words have shapes and meanings, man. You'll say, huh. I'm a fat fuck and I need to lose shape, or at least Aaron's opinion is of that. Maybe I ought to go lose some weight. All right? Not with, oh no, no, no. Woman said, Tina, you're a fat bitch and you need to be not. Tina's going to pull her strings and get Amy the cave woman and, and Jessica the cave woman. Oh, Jessica, do you look out? She don't want to piss off Jessica the cave. Oh, oh, oh no. And then there's usually a queen bee and they're going to pull favors to get who the queen bee. Karen, I guess, for lack of a better word. And then and then all the Game of Thrones bullshit. So to survive all that, so they were accepted into the tribe and no one got in, they all lied. And they always very craftily, uh, uh, cautiously crafted their sentences. So, okay, see, you know, Amy, I'm just saying, okay, and then whatever came out, it doesn't matter. And it's a double speak. Right. And so when you're going up to them, their goal, their, their brain is screaming at them. We need to survive. Don't piss this guy off. Cause in the olden days, if you mothed off to caveman, Bob, caveman, just take the club and club you and you were done with, or maybe he'd take you and keep you, you know, as, as a rape slave. I don't know, but there'd be serious consequences. Just as serious though. You think, well, the women would be nice. No, 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 <laughs> no, they're worse. You get the backstab. You've seen middle school. Yeah, who's been to middle school? You guys see the girls, huh? You see what's going on? Mean girls, anybody? If they mouthed off, they'd be kicked out. They'd be ostracized. And that was a death sentence for the vast majority of human existence. The vast majority. That hardwiring is not going away. So when you go up to a girl and say, I need you to tell me the truth. If the truth is comfortable, is George Clooney hot? Yes. Oh, my goodness, girlfriend. Um, would you like money? Sure. Do I need to lose weight? No. And translate it into English that is, yes, but I'm a cowardly little fuck. And I don't want to be kicked out of the tribe. So I'm going to lie and say, oh, you're, you're beautiful the way you are. <laughs> and that's why they're not even conscious. I, this is, this is even, it, that's, that's unfair. Because it indicates they're consciously evil of it. They're going to lie to not only because it directly ties to their survival, but they also don't want to feel bad. Let's not forget that. They don't want to feel, oh, I hurt so-and-so's feelings. Fuck. I make a living off of fucking taking people's feelings. Oh, just where's a feeling I can destroy? Where is it? You have a feeling? Is that a feeling? No, no, no. No feelings here. No, no. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm gonna... fucking ground. That's how I make money. And that's how men, uh, one of the several reasons I would argue that men make more money than we're more practical, or not practical. We're more realistic. We get to the point. We don't beat around the bush. Engineering. Hey, that bridge is going to collapse if we don't blah, blah, blah. See, Amy, okay, so I called this meeting about the meaning to bring up to Jessica, our structural engineer, that maybe we shouldn't be using styrofoam in the support beams. Okay, now, how do we approach, like, oh, Jesus, dumbass, you put styrofoam in the support beams? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, shit, man, Clary, oh, man, my feelings are slightly hurt right now, but I appreciate the truth. As that's another reason your mom is going to lie to you. It's in her DNA. They're, they may not directly lie, but they're going to beat around the bush and not going to be direct because they're it, it would directly tie into a threat upon their lives in their hind brain. You could, oh, thanks, mom. Thanks for the truth. And then you'd leave. She'd be like, oh, I thought he was going to club me over the head and kill me. Same thing with your female friends. I just want to get along. <clears throat> it's an unfair saying, but at times it does apply. Uh, and you have to understand, and this is from the great one. Uh, he often will say, no, the goal of society is that no woman should feel discomfort. I think that's, now he, he applies it to no white woman in North America should feel discomfort, which plays upon current sociopolitical racial dynamics. And it's kind of funny, um, but let's be very clear. That's all, <laughs> that's all the world. No woman need to, su not suffer, suffer discomfort. Or worse, <gasps> your mom cries. You ever have your mom cry? Oh, shit. What did I do now? What fucking bullshit did I do now? Holy shit. What did I do? Female cries. Now, if it's not your mom, it's just some female that cries. You'll get old enough to just be like, shut up, knock it off, turn it off. No, we don't play that here. Homie, don't play that. Just, just, Or you'll learn to ignore it because you know it's bullshit. You're still young. I remember when I was 23, I felt horrible if I made a girl cry. Like, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. You told her the truth. You made her feel discomfort. She's never felt discomfort, or at least at volumes and, and, and levels enough to build up a tolerance to it. Again, the guy, Pierre LeFou in Cowboy Bebop, got hit by the knife. All right, so there. So they're, they're always going to circle around Team Woman. That's how they got they, And they're going to have their own double. And I guess to translate it literally, their allegiance to team woman, which means their allegiance to their own survival is stronger subconsciously than their love for you. All right. Does that make any sense? They don't know it. Your mom doesn't hate you. I mean, if given the choice, kill Tina or kill my son, she'll probably kill Tina. Okay. So I'm going to have a meeting. I've been given this very hard paradox where you'd have to kill my son or Tina. How do I raise awareness to tell Tina? I don't really mean it. All right. Another thing also related to team woman. Uh, women operate as a cartel, as a team, right? As they've been programmed and conditioned over 200,000 years. Right, we don't have to go over it again. That's changing now, of course. More atomized, individualistic women going out doing their own things. Things are changing, right? That doesn't undo the vast majority of your brain or your program. And so... Women as a group, and you could kind of see this now that they, they have to act as a group, they act as a cartel so they can extract more stuff out of guys, not necessarily resources, though certainly that. But for example, well, if we all get fat and we all say big is beautiful, then none of us have to work out. That's the most perfect ex modern day example of a cartel right now. Women are all unconsciously agreeing, let's all get fat together and then we don't have to work out, but men are so desperate, they'll fuck us still. They got nine times the sex drive. Let's just all get fat. Yeah, we don't have to work out, but we still kind of get the sex when we want it. We're not all that excited about sex. Well, you know. So now they don't have to do that anymore. Uh, but more importantly, as it pertains to your mom, they, and this was where um, Ryan Stone has a brilliant, the only thing women love more than having sex is having the world believe they're not the type of girl to have sex. <laughs> they don't want to have the cake and eat it too. And it is this, protection of their cachet, their currency of woman, that women are all sugar and spice and everything nice. When in reality, yes, 
Your mom sucked and fucked your dad. She probably sucked and fucked a bunch of other guys. And she loved it up her ass. She had cum on her face. She did all the nasty shit with all those bad boys. And there was probably some schmuck just like you in her past. Nice 23-year-old kid. Wanted to treat her nice and all that. No. No. They got to protect. See? And this gets this now gets to, to resources. Like, we have to present to us that we're just these nice. What do you think they hide their notch count? Oh, I'm just this nice girl. Da, 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 da. I want to get fucked by that guy. I want to get fucked by Kevin in sales, Chad in the motor pool, or Tyrone on a football team. I want their fucking semen. I want their seed. I just want to have the fun with it doing that. But, oh, well, no, I wouldn't know. I'm a nice, sweet girl. And, oh, yeah, I, I like to cook. And I really want to settle down. Da, 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 da. And that is to go and maintain the... Uh, not just the rep, the brand name of Woman Incorporated. So that then you guys are like, oh, I'll commit to that. They are not, again, not kind. Subconsciously, they're very aware that they have to protect their cachet. They have to protect their brand name. They have to protect the currency of woman. And so, again, you want to see it on parade? You want to see it displayed on parade? Go watch an old young woman. It doesn't matter. They're just as dirty as guys. You go watch them up, get liquored up, and then go watch the Thunder from Down Under. You watch it. That's more of a show than the... Although the guys from Thunder Down Under actually do put on a pretty good show. It's pretty funny, actually. So anyway, but no homo. Uh, but the, the real show is the women lining up and then walking out. That's the real show. And you'll see it. They... they, they your worst fears are uh, confirmed. That's what it is. But if that ever got out, if your mom ever said, look, son, every woman wants to be dicked by a guy who's six foot two and, da, 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 and this and that and uh, whatever else. All of a sudden, the veneer falls off. The scales fall off your eyes. And that, in the hindbrain, and two hundred blah, 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 blah would backstab the entire cartel. It would threaten to take away the purchasing power of the currency. It would, it would tarnish the brand name. And they couldn't keep on. We're just the innocent little girls who need all the help in the world. Oh, my goodness. We're so sweet and kind. Commit to us. It's like, no. They want it. They want they want their cake and to eat it, too. The only thing women want more than hot, awesome Mind-blowing sex is to have the world believe they don't have mind-blowing, that they're just pure and innocent. And that, again, not conscious, not forked tongue, not evil, completely completely programmed. Because you got to think of it this way. I mean, you are her own flesh and blood. She loves you. Obviously, your mom loves you. But that does not undo all the hard wiring in the back of her brain. And this is ultimately why even your own mother... Mrs. Elkins, wonderful woman, takes her own son. What? Put a knife in team woman or in my son? Oh, but Chad, it's so hard for, for, uh, for women to lose weight. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's not even like that. It's just like, but Chad, it's so hard for women to lose weight. I mean, just un don't even know what she's saying. Your moms don't know what they're saying. It's all unconscious. It's all programmed. It's protect the fucking brand name. Protect the hive. <clears throat> I can't wait to have my own place. I so fucking can't. So there you go. Let's get the super check. Alex, man, save your money, dude. You're a truck driver. Don't you like have, I mean, yeah, I'll take it, but you know, uh, for uh, $20, while reading the rational mail, I had an epiphany that maybe mothers lied to their sons as a survival mechanism. So if they sabotage the boy's sexual strategy in order to have someone to care for them in their old age, I'd go along with that. The problem is in the olden times, kids were the asset. You're basically breeding slaves. And so she would want you to go on and have more children to tend the fields, protect from saber tooth werewolves and other cool creatures that existed in the past that we don't have now. Um, so I, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. Um, that does happen every once in a while where it's like the mom will sabotage her son's love life, but that's because the dad is not around or she's a widow and she just wants her son. But that's more for like, like, don't leave me, you know, for the other woman. 
Uh, but from a Darwinistic survival standpoint, I think generally women would want you to go out and have children. Lay Enda, new guy or gal, four bucks. I will never understand women, and that is reality. No, it, once you understand uh, evolutionary psychology, once you understand how men and women are pro, and it's not just women, it's men too. You have these things programmed into you that you don't control and you don't really even think about. Um, and you understand how lopsided and warped sex drives are between men and women and what kind of power dynamics and economic dynamics that plays. Read the book of numbers. The link is not necessarily down below. Look up the book of numbers, analyzing the ROI of the pursuit of women. New book. Oh, by the way, it's a paperback. No, it just published today. <clears throat> um, you, once you understand it, like, oh, I get it. I get it. And I think what the balance of the defeatism is, is once you understand it, you're like, oh, yeah, like the veneer is gone. You're like, I, I don't really want to have anything to do with that. <laughs> I mean, you'd be like, oh, they're pretty and I want to have sex with them. But yeah, it's, I mean, it, it it's sad. It almost becomes, well, this is a, this is a, a 20 sided die. That was a, a 10 sided die. You know, it, it's, <clears throat> it, it, it's kind of like, oh, the romance, the fun is gone. The magic is gone. You see, you see the guy take off his Mickey Mouse. It's just a guy in a Mickey Mouse outfit you're like oh i don't know zach red pillar for 10 generous dollars <laughs> post wall women are telling the truth now they can't afford around with chad they want a slave mothers are subconsciously trying to develop a son husband since they can't get a man that could be it too that could be more going into the future as more and more single moms are out there and they need a, a man you know you know the old western john wayne would leave love boy you're gonna have to pay attention take care of you now that's more foghorn leghorn well son it's about time that I go get that ragabond guy who rustled off with our cattle. You're the man of the household, son. Here's some 10-year-old kid. Okay, wow, well, there. He's got the gun taller than the kid. And then the mom, always a brunette. I don't know why it was always a brunette. Never a hot, sultry blonde. Always a brunette. And I had the blue dress on and everything like that. Oh, come back, Frank. Everybody's name was Frank in the Westerns. All right, I'll see you around, partner. And then he'd come back. Oh, Frank, you're back. Dad, oh, you did good, boy. And then the kid's got, kid got a mop of blonde hair. Kid always had a mop of blonde hair because then John Wayne had to come back and rustle the hair. You did good, son, rustle the hair. Oh, end of the movie. That was every Western ever. So I could, I could see that being a, a trend in the future, most definitely. Ryan Annis for 10 bucks. New guy, thank you. Their misguidance is sure as a constant nice guy crop. Their misguidance is sure as a constant nice guy crop. Okay, following you so far. Men that learn, learn, adapt to become bad boys, women enjoy. Those that remain nice are available as women's last branch to grab before ground impact. Yes, they're more like trampolines or safety nets. They're never going to sleep with you guys. Once you're friend zone, that's it. It's like you got herpes. It's over. All right, give it up. Move on to the next gal. Um, and I don't think I've ever had a gal who is an actual friend who friend zoned me. It, you, you are an asset. They're like CIA agents and they have their assets and they will use you and discard of you once you have no longer value to them. And so you, guys, you never, oh God, it's been what, three decades almost since this ever, <clears throat> you'll have a feel. Even if they're your good female friend, oh, Bobby broke up with me. Can you come over? I need someone. No. <laughs> no. No, I'm not. I'm not coming over. On the phone, on the on the chat. No. I one one statistic I'm absolutely appalled about is how much time men spend on online dating. Now, women spend almost just as much time, but that's just <laughs> get my thick man attention. I love the attention. You guys are like, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. 80 minutes a day? A 80 fucking, fuck that. That's one sixteenth of your waking hours. Go work out, go for a walk. Just cripes, jerk off to porn. Something else. <laughs> hey, Witty's comment on the day. <laughs> Sad, why is she sending it back? Uh, it. Yeah, you, you're not. The, go be the bad boy. Go work out. Get Go go work out. Get jacked. Watch the Tower of Steve. Okay, everybody go watch the Tower of Steve. Excel. 
No. Remove all interest. Excel in front of her. Retreat. Yes. Judd Grover. Oh, now that jumped on me. See, that's how they get you. That's how they get you, Judd. I had you here a second ago. Oh, here we go. Judd Grover. Pro tip. Pro tip from Judd, everybody. Five bucks. Pretend to be an Alcoholics Anonymous and have relapses to get the girls. Interesting. Also, you got to tell your folks to stop lying to you or you won't discuss your life with them anymore. That's you. You, ha you should have expanded on why you. How does that work? Pretend to be an Alcoholics Anonymous and have relapses. I could that could kind of provide the edge, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe have a, a a slight criminal record, like yeah, Grand Theft Auto. I got a criminal record. Well, that was a, a bad part of my own. I didn't have exactly. Right. Oh really? Now can I suck your dick because you're willing to steal other people's hard-earned money via their car? Um, and that's another way to like get your parents up to your level. Like I'm not talking to you if you're going to tell me lies. Like knock it off. Your mom's still going to look, your mo mom's just a different category, man. They're going to, I could walk home with a billion dollars. You could all donate to the Clary septic tank, fund. I could have a septic tank made of platinum with diamond encrusted. And Ma, I got a diamond encrusted platinum septic tank, but you know, I made you these biscuits. Like, I love you too, mom. <laughs> these, but they're made with good ingredients, mom. They're still carbs. And you have a ton of butter in these. They have high cholesterol, but they're really good. All right, just give me. I make sure I'm really far away before I throw any food. You don't want to be on the side of the road. Oh, God, it crushed your mom's feelings. Uh, Swoola Blue for two bucks. Watching you from my new phone. All right, and it's good. Good. All right, hope it's coming in crystal clear. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Adam Smith von Hayek, $1.99. If a friend's baby will be male, I advise abort. Boy, <laughs> no. Uh, it, no, that's too dark. Why would you? Why, look, it, it, I've never d differentiated between the kids, like nieces or nephews. I just get along with my nieces because they're available. The other ones are busy or live too far away. <clears throat> I would never like, oh, well, you're a nephew. Get out of here. It's like, no, nah, they're all great. Hey, you guys are dumb and young and stupid. Think I'm pretty cool. And whatever I say to do, you guys will do it because <laughs> you have hope and naivete. All right, let's go do X. Yay! Let's just ice cream in it for you little kids. <sighs> Adam Smith von Hayek mom is said, is sad. I won't give her grandkids. I told her how bad it is, so I just do one night stand. She said, "Family name will die with me." I said, "Good, good, good, good." That I my parents think I they know. I I think some boomers know. Like, yeah, I understand why people aren't having kids. Yeah, I get it. But yeah, it's like, oh, you want me to have look for all of you that want me to pass on my genes. The the offer still stands. One point five million. After tax, huge legal disclaimers. You can a woman can have my seed. Go have as many cappy babies as you want. 1.5 million each shot. 1.5 million. Like you only get one kid. You know, like I got a thousand sperm. You have a thousand kids. That no, 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 no. 1.5 million. And you can carry on the cappy legacy. And I'm like, I don't you you pay for it. I don't want to even see the kid. The kid doesn't know it's me or doesn't know it's half me. But you see, here's what's funny, Adam. <clears throat> oh, Aaron's only 5'9". Yeah, I really want someone who's 6'2". Just watch him. Watch him in the line for Thunder Down. Dude, you could put the, the richest guy ever, coolest, whatever, could look like George Clooney. 5'9"? Ooh, Ooh, IQ of Einstein and Elon Musk. Oh, but he's 5'9". He's totally jacked and ripped like J uh, Hugh Jackman. Yeah, but he's 5'9". All right, never mind. Fight. You just, okay, never mind. Good. I get it. Short guys are the fat women of America. I got it. I got it. Adam Smith again for five bucks. Mary, can't be Mary Christian. Have nine kids. Uncle Chad babysits. Then the kids can be your retirement plan like old days. And Mrs. Elkins can play with your kids. <clears throat> No, I'm not having, no, I had a vasectomy. No, 
I will never have kids. No. <laughs> I came too far and too uphill of a battle just to get this modicum of stability I got. I'm not fucking it up with no kid. That's why 1.5 million and any woman can have my kid. The competent man, five bucks. As bad as things are overall, I think they are going to get worse. Spending an extra trillion per year was not enough for lockdowns. December 31st, eviction start up. Yeah. What am I going to do about it? Mark Metzico for 14 generous Canadian dollars. Men and women need to fear of God to be anything other than selfish. Christian values is higher than moral ambiguity. History is proving this right before eyes. You know what? He's right. Not that I necessarily will throw my lot in with Christians, but compared to just letting humans run feral, having religion actually organize a society, much as you may not like it, a religious society is going to probably be more productive than some caveman tribalistic warlord society because there's rules and laws. It's not a surprise if you look at the main rules and laws. Well, Judaism and Christianity came from, they share the first half of the same book. But wow, kind of like Islam and Buddhism and Hinduism, they all kind of got the same rules. Don't steal. Don't fuck no other guy's wife. Uh, don't lie. I'll go in with the Muslims who are like, don't borrow money. I'm like, yeah, get, get some of that over here. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, it, and another argument Mark could make is your average person is too fucking stupid to be a secularist and have their own moral code, uh, uh, deriving from not hurting other people from respecting other people's rights and sovereignty. You know, I, I think that's a pretty common, simple courtesy makes sense. Why would I, well, I see Mark, why would I punch Mark? Why would I steal Mark's bike? It makes no sense. Matter of fact, you should wish the best for Mark. Why? By gosh, I hope Mark. I hope Mark gets one point five million dollars for his sperm too. <clears throat> Doesn't hurt me none. Uh, but apparently, that's too complicated for for simple minds to understand. So we need the big guy in the sky. Well, you go down to the the other place with the guy with the pitchfork. It'll poke at you as you burn alive forever. Is that it? We caught up? No. Competent man, five bucks. Friend told me they wanted to freeze out dad's girlfriend, then found out technically second wife. Told him she was entitled to half plus will plus C will. Okay, good. Richard Betchel, Claire, I donated yesterday. Could you check? Um, Yeah, I'll check. If we're missing some on the, we'll do a miss super chats maybe later this week. Scott Lutke for two bucks. It won't let me combine the F word. And women don't, don't, you don't have to curse. You don't have to curse. <clears throat> Busako man for 5.49 euros. Women dictate the guidelines of behavior based on what they say. They want a fatherless society of soy boys will naturally foul their request equals chaos. Yeah. As per like, I, I don't think the population of men is smart enough to handle a secular moral life. Like, okay, there's some certain rules and laws we should operate as a society. And we don't need some threat from some God in the sky to do that. Um, you should almost want to, but it's a different topic. Um, <clears throat> these same dumb men, and it's logical. Women say they want a nice, sweet guy. Okay, it's 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 okay, but you got you got to play two D chess. You have to, because the words coming out of women's mouth is not like a word. If I say Busako, man, you smell like shit. Did you shower today? Chances are you smell like shit, and you didn't shower that day. You go up to a girl. Do I smell? I think I smell. No, you're fine. <laughs> But men will go, okay. You guys, you, simple rule. I'm not expecting you to understand it, but simple rule. Don't listen to that word that women say about what they want. Do not listen. Go find a guy you respect. Like, wow, that guy gets all the girl. Like, how do you do it? What do you do? And there's plenty of books to read. Plenty of books to read, too. Uh, competent man for five bucks. One thing I've noticed within the last several years is absolutely effed up estate plans or lack of. In one case, a wing of family blew three or four million. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> I could dream of the day I have three or four million to worry about passing on, but, um, I don't know. I, I haven't had to worry if my family's pretty poor. <laughs> I'm kind of like, I was talking to my old man. Wait, you actually have savings? What? He's like, well, it's not. You know, I'm like, I can't believe you have savings. Like you might actually make it to retirement. What, what? 
there won't be anything left. I know I've not had, there's not going to be a lot of backstep. Knives are not coming out uh, when my parents pass away to fight over the great Clary fortune. Like, uh, who wants dead sweaters? <laughs> Anyone wear a size 10 shoe? All right, that was it. All right, throw her, it away. Uh, Simon Laplace, uh, 25 Hong Kong dollars. There's an opportunity there to develop an automatic swipe chat, chat bot in apps like Tinder to let them have more free time and more chances. We'll go ahead and program it. Um, I That might be a realm of Operation Evil where I'd go and, you know, set up a chat bot and uh, tell, you know, what do women want to hear? And I just find a pretty picture of a pretty guy. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm Phil. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah. I want to light candles and listen to you talk about Sylvia Plath all day long. Scott Luke Cake, uh, the word fat. Really? Fat, not fuck. They're, they're censoring the word fat? <laughs> XXC Demon 08 reminds me of my mom. I used to think it was just me. Ten years later, you and many other men are covering these kind of topics. Yep. Let's not even wait 10 years. Get this into the hands of young boys. When you're 16, guys, get into the, you know, we got to take over the role of American dads because American dads are pussies. Oh, they're just not around. Oh, they're deadbeats. Okay. We got an older brother up. We got a cowboy up to go save these kids. <clears throat> I put out the material out there. You get in the hands of your younger brothers. And by brothers, I mean not just blood brothers, but young guys you care about, young men. Also, brother brothers, like, you know, Southside Chicago brothers. Okay, we got that. Caught up with that. Yeah, we caught up, I think. Judd Grover, two bucks. Give her emotional roller coaster and try to change you. Oh, okay. That's why you're saying that you, you're you alcoholic. Yeah, okay, there you go. And girls do like that emotional roller coaster, unfortunately, because that's taxing, too. Look, being a dick is a pain in the ass. Doing drama, which is another, I, I used to not, I, I used to think girls don't get off on drama. Who likes that? Just peace and calm and serenity. Nope. It's like girls wouldn't sperm jack a guy. That never happens. Yep. I remember 15 years ago. I'm, oh, no, I, very rare. No, rare. you got to be mentally ill to do that. Nope. Way more common. And now the m emotional roller coaster. I'm like, oh, oh, crap. They do all want 90210, don't they? Competent man, five bucks. Had a dream this morning. You, me, and your girlfriend and a friend of yours were in an old office of mine talking about new video tax. Not sure of any meaning, if any. I, I don't know. They'll probably come up with the tax. That it? That it? That it? All right. There you go. Cursing, swearing. This is not going to be popping up on anybody's feed. Okay? You got to take this, and you got to give it to a young kid. All right? Why had a girl said X, Y, and Z? You got to you gotta take this and give this to the kid, right? Save that kid tons of time and effort and energy and emotion. And... Fuck. All right, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later, Toodles.